Welcome to module seven of our introductory managerial accounting course. This module is all about CVP analysis. CVP stands for cost, volume, profit analysis, also known as break-even analysis. I like the second one better because it just it conjures up more meaning to people. So this it's either my favorite module of the semester or my second favorite module of the semester. I'm not sure which. I really, really like this module, though. And the reason I like it is because I just think it's useful when you're sizing up a business. If you want to understand a business, I think a little bit of CVP analysis, a little bit of break-even analysis goes a long way, especially especially if you're sizing up a company's plans you know you're you're thinking about starting a company and you get some preliminary data a CVP analysis a break-even analysis is a great point at which you do one of these a sniff test you look at your idea and you can see if your idea smells okay or if your idea stinks this is a very great moment so what is a break-even analysis? Well, we use concepts we learned last module. Last module, module six, we learned how to break costs into their variable and fixed components. Now we assume we've broken all of our costs into their variable and fixed components, and we're going to learn a new way to format a company's income statement. And it's going to look rather than like sales minus cost of goods sold equals gross profit. minus our selling and admin expenses equals operating income. Rather than that format, which is what we've learned so far and is a totally legitimate way to prepare an income statement, we're going to prepare a new type of income statement. Sales minus variable expenses equals not gross profit, but contribution margin minus fixed expenses equals operating income. So a, a few of the same titles, but several different titles. What we're going to find is this one right here, contribution margin, is so powerful in figuring out things like how many units do I need to sell to break even? That's like, that's one of the most important things we're going to learn all chapter. How many units do I need to sell to break even? So if I've got a uh, company that sells cupcakes, how many cupcakes do I need to sell every day in order to break even? That's important, right? If you're running a company and you're selling cupcakes, you should want to know, okay, I need to sell 12 cupcakes. If I sell 13 cupcakes today, I'm making a bit of money. If I sell 10 cupcakes today, I'm losing money. What is that moment where you shift from losing to making money? Maybe you're the cupcake guy and you, you're, you're making money, but you want to make more. Well, how many cupcakes do I need to sell each day to make more money? And how do I compute all that stuff? We're going to learn about that today in our uh, module 7 videos, right? We're going to learn to understand uh, how to compute target profit, how to compute break-even point, um, and many, many other types of computations. But what I want you to think is, think of the real-world application for this. If you're planning a business and you're thinking, I want to start a business and I want to do X, Think about your break-even point. How many customers do you need to have come through the door uh, before you're breaking even? And how realistic is it that you will see that many customers coming through the door? Those are important things every entrepreneur should be asking themselves, and they're important things for you to understand. So again, might be my favorite chapter. I think it's probably number two for me, but I really love this stuff, and I hope you'll love it too. I hope you'll be interested by it. Stay tuned for Module 7, folks.